<laughs> that thing looks scary. It's like, oh yeah, it's like a boomerang. Yeah. Go to your next time. But at time. the end of the night, after working hard, you just throw them in the fridge and then you catch them in the morning when you go to work. Oh, there you go. I like the way you put those up. Okay. But lovely lashes are for not. If you can't see, that's a problem. Bad vision throws everything off in life, and one Olympic medalist knows that firsthand. Winning Olympic medals changed everything for gymnast Lori Hernandez. My life has done a, a very big 360, which has been incredible, and I'm grateful for every opportunity. Lori tumbled into our hearts, taking on the world stage at the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. Whether she's practicing her floor routine, doing schoolwork, or appearing at an event, Lori is always focused on finding things that will give her an edge on competition. She won gold and silver as a member of the U.S. Women's Gymnastics team. Lori explains how she keeps her competitive edge. I have my invisible edge because of Alcon Daily's Aqua Comfort Plus contact lenses. As a gymnast, that, that is something that I, I would not be as good of a gymnast as I am without those. And it's making sure that we're taking care of ourselves and my invisible edge is, is being healthy and being able to perform to the best of my abilities because I am healthy. Lori says it's also important to stay balanced. She credits her family with helping her achieve that goal. My my parents taught me that it's really important to prioritize my time and the things that are important to me at a very young age and so we made sure that I knew that gymnastics was a passion of mine and education was a necessity. Lori has this advice for other teens with big dreams. My biggest advice to other teens would be to make sure that you are passionate about it and make sure that if you are setting these really big goal goals for yourself that you are setting little goals in between to help you get there. Now Lori has her mindset on training and the 2020 games in Tokyo. The next two years are absolutely going to be hectic and crazy and exciting and it's going to be a big just roller coaster and I am so excited for all of it. 